to brush across that, but I'm really good at like mental math, so I was yeah. <laughs> juggling the numbers despite my will. <laughs> Um, I was thinking about three score averages, um, you know, before the competition, for example, Patty Hoops, um, you know, I looked, I thought about what he scored at USA's and I determined that if I messed up today, he would have to get a 15-1 to tie my three score average. So that was kind of just sitting in the back of my mind, eating me away. And I was like, dude, just stop thinking about those things. This is gymnastics. You're doing a routine that's like easy for you. Just relax, enjoy the moment. <laughs> Well, it's, it's always good to see them do well. Um, honestly, I, I really like the guys that are here that are good at pommel horse for super good friends. And, uh, you know, me and Patty are jumping up and down celebrating for one another. Um, so I'm happy they did well. After some pommel horns, do you feel you need to reset? Did you like work out the way you wanted? And then you like didn't take on the pressure and stop setting the workout? How does it feel just to be like in training for a week like this? <laughs> it is like surreal. I looked at this quad and thought to myself, it's gonna be really hard to make a team at five guys. I didn't even think it was really gonna be possible, um, but I stuck in there just with that dream alive and just did everything I could to get on this team, and I did. <laughs> what was your emotion as you watched the whole set of games yesterday? Did you get on the floor and you just think, no, like you already had that feeling? I had that feeling. I knew the numbers in my head, and I knew like going up for that dismount, I was like, just please get this dismount. Please stick the landing. I almost didn't. And, <laughs> and I was just like, in my head, I was like, I think, I made it. <laughs> so what do you think is your, your highest goal that you set to you guys going back into the games and then the next few weeks to prepare to for this big event? Like what are some of the things that you're working on? Yeah, so great question. Um, we're kind of on the down cycle. You know, I peaked a couple weeks ago. Now we're coming down a little bit. Um, this whole week for me felt like I was fighting that urge to, you know, slip down that slope because that's just how gymnastics works. It comes in waves really good, really bad. And um, I was just really happy with how I was able to handle the pressure, handle the fact my skills weren't feeling the best. Um, within the next three weeks, I have plenty of time to get back on that up and peak at the right time. Um, I always had it in my head that there's a chance. Um, there's a chance because I can do a really good score for Team USA on an event that maybe they need that. Um, so my single score on that one event adds more to a team than perhaps someone who does multiple events. So it was always in my head. I just knew that it was going to be really hard to do. And, and did you know before they introduced you, do you already know you're on a team with all of them? Or <laughs> Yeah, so we sat up there for like 30 minutes and, um, you know, I tried just not thinking about it because, you know, if I hadn't made the team and I thought I did, it would have made me super sad. But um, I kind of just tried to stay in my zone, text my girlfriend, and then it was suddenly, all right, guys, here's the team. And, <laughs> you know, before I knew it, my name was called and it was just the best moment of my life. Um, the star value is super variable. I can do a insane amount of routines and um, honestly it's going to come down to what is the smartest decision for Team USA um, when we're talking about an event like final um, I might go up or do a 6-7 perhaps I just do the 6-5. First uh, Winter Championship course for you guys at Bloomington for Stuart Mason. <laughs> well last week I heard that that was the draw and I told my coaches I said ah I was thinking about throwing next week, but that sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll go for it. So I'm really excited. I think that's awesome. I think that's a perfect spot for me. <laughs> well, <laughs> not Well, not no pressure, but it's a much better spot, you know, than this meet, for example, was. I'll be a lot more comfortable. Uh, my feelings are we are Team USA. We uh, came together with how we were going to plan to make the Olympic team earlier in December. Even, you know, a year ago we were having these discussions. Um, we decided that, you know, if the best team possible includes a single eventer or someone who doesn't do all the events, that's the team that is deserved. We all agreed upon it. Um, you know, I have really good friends that didn't make this team that did a phenomenal job this weekend. My heart goes out to them. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I've earned this. So I'm really excited. 
Um, I really tried not to, but I, sometimes you just can't help those intrusive thoughts. And um, I didn't quite look at the spreadsheet or anything like that, but I had a good idea that there was a good chance they could take a horse guy if I did a good job. Um, super variable with me. Um, I can do any number amount of routines, different styles, different star values. Um, ultimately, it's going to be up to me, the coaches, what is going to be the smartest for Team USA. Um, yeah, you know, I wanted to show people that I can, you know, even with error in my routine, I can stay on that palm horse. I can get a score that is good enough for Team USA. Um, everyone knows that my ceiling is a lot higher than it was at this competition. Um, but overall, the um, decisions I made here were to show consistency um, and to be able to get a really good, you know, three score average.